Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is the start of a little mini series that I'm going to be doing on little revision bites. So just like a small piece of information that will tell you how best to revise and like different techniques to make the most out of your revision. Let's get started. So if you don't know me, um, my name is Charlie and this is my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, then feel free to like if you want more content like this. So today's video is Active Recall. So Active Recall is a principle of efficient learning whereby memory needs to be actively stimulated during the learning process. Now, most people often tend to do something called passive review, which is pretty much the opposite of active recall. You're probably guilty of this, I'm guilty of this even. And this is where you just do things like read the information, take notes, listening to podcasts, I've been doing that recently, watching videos, or just highlighting. These are just examples of passive review. You're basically just skimming over the surface of the knowledge. So in short, it's going into your short-term memory, and you, you think you know what you're talking about. You may come out of a lecture and you may think, Ah, oh, you know, I think I understood that, like I understood all the concepts and things that were going on. But in reality, you didn't really know. Because if someone said, oh, can you just tell me what happened in that lecture? You may be like, oh wait, I don't actually realise what, what's actually been said. So this is where you need to bring in things like active recall to actually really stimulate your learning. So you may be wondering, how is active recall better than passive review? The so passive review may feel really productive when you're doing. You may spend hours and hours just going through your content, reading it, highlighting it, and making the best notes that you possibly can. However, this isn't always the best thing. So in a study by Karpik and Rodiger, I'm sorry if I've butchered those names, they found that people doing passive review only remembered about 34% in their study, compared to 80% of those people doing active recall. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, well, how can I actually use active recall in my revision? So I've got three key ways that you can implement active recall into your learning. So the first one is learning a piece of information Yes, you have to start off with your passive review by going over it and getting the key concepts into your short-term memory. And then from there, you want to test yourself and carry on until you eventually get them all right. And then come back to this another day later and test yourself again, and then again, and again. So just keep on testing yourself because the more you test yourself, the more your mind will think, I need this information so it'll be stored into your long-term memory. So then when it comes to the exam, the test, whatever, it'll be there and you can quickly recall it from your mind. Another one that you may want to do is something where you write a topic down or a question and set yourself in 10 minutes or so and just write down as much as you possibly can for that topic that you can remember. Firstly, start off by reading a page, absorb as much information as possible and then close it, put it away and then write down as much as you possibly can. Um, again, you may want to repeat this a day later and see what you've remembered from last time and hopefully you should be able to record every key point that you want to be able to get and hopefully you should be improving each time until the point where you've eventually got it in your long-term memory and you can recall it whenever you need it. One thing I think is a really good way of using active recall is by teaching someone. So you don't actually need someone to listen because you're not always going to find someone but if you can get someone to listen then that's even better, that's perfect. But what we want to do is teach someone or something. You may even want to teach your wall. Obviously don't use your notes, don't use your things like that, just do it from the top of your mind. So you're actively recalling the information and by doing this you'll be able to find the bits where you do know and the bits where you don't know and also by teaching someone you're just kind of voicing your thoughts and it's getting the information out and to the point where you understand it because if you don't understand the concept you're not going to be able to speak about it. Something that you can use that is quite good at active recall, I tend to use Quizlet. And if you wanna see a video on how to use Quizlet effectively, so like how to do really good questions, then please let me know in the comments section down below. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, though, I hope this has helped you. If it has, then leave a like. Um, I'll be doing some more of these little episodes in the future. So if you wanna know more about your revision, then yeah, please let me know. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.